Hey guys and gals, welcome back to my channel. You clicked on this video more than likely because you want to learn how to build your own Tupper door without breaking the bank. And so I got everything you're gonna need here, four simple items, and I've priced this to basically get you the most value, the most bang for buck. So it's not gonna be the cheapest setup, it's not gonna be the most expensive setup, but it's gonna work for your needs. And the beauty of this is this works for whether you're doing long-term or short-term storage. This is the way to do it in my opinion. Now I'm gonna link everything down in the description and in the comments. So some of these items are highly sought after. So I've noticed they kind of pop up online, you know, at times they go out of stock or they're unavailable. Let's just go over the four items you're gonna need real quick. First thing's gonna be this easy storage container. See here, it's not very big, it's 18 liters, but this is the right size for a good amount of cigars without basically risking having your whole collection in one big ice chest or cooler. And the reason that's important is because if something should go wrong, knock on wood that that's not the case, but should you get cigar beetles, should you start to get a mold issue, then you're not sacrificing your whole collection and hopefully you're checking this monthly or so, so you're avoiding you know, it getting out of hand if that should pop up anyway. But think about if you had a really big collection of your cigars all in one container and then you suffer an issue like that, it's just gonna be devastating. The four items you need. So the first one is of course, this waterproof easy storage container. You can use any type of Tupperware, but I really like this one for a couple of reasons. One, it's got a hermetic seal along the edge here. So you have this gasket that goes along the top portion and that seats into the you know ridge of the top of the container. And then you have these click handles. So four of them, two on each side, that prevents any risk of you forgetting to close it fully. Also, when you have the lid on, if you're stacking these on top of each other, having these here on the front and back prevent the container from bowing out and air getting in and messing with your, your humidity. So that's really important too. And again, you can get these online. I'm gonna link it down below. Now, depending on your area, you may also be able to find these locally at your Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, these I think I got at Home Depot and they're not very expensive. Um, it's gonna last a very, very long time. Next thing you're gonna need are these hygrometers. Now you can get the really fancy ones that you know hook up to your phone and do all these really cool things. I just picked up this, it comes in a set of four. These are reptile tank hygrometers that run on a battery, very long battery life. And then it tells you, of course, the temperature and the humidity. I just took some 3M double-sided mounting tape and basically stuck it in the front so I can view it from the sides and see what the humidity, what the temperature is at just a quick glance. You set it up however you want, that's just me. Now, this container will hold three of these trays. This is the next item you're gonna need. Now these trays are made from Spanish cedar. I bought these on Amazon. These are from a local business and the construction of these is really, really good. It has a little divider with the foam on the insert that keeps it nice and snug in between the different vitolas or shapes of your cigar. So if you have Churchill's on one side, Robusto on the other, you can separate them, not a problem. You can go vertical or horizontal with your cigars as well. And what I love about these trays is of course, vented on the bottom as you can see there and then the construction on them is just great don't have a lot of splintering um, some of the edges are a little bit rough but it's not like you're going to get splinters in your fingers and basically when you order these now this brand currently i think they're only selling the singles available like i said really highly sought after so be aware you may click on that link and they're unavailable or you may see the different options like i've seen these sold singles in doubles even in four or six packs so my advice as soon as you see them pick them up as many as you can get because if you're going to have a collection that's growing you're going to want to have multiples of these on hand at any given time now when they arrive they have a light dust a cedar dust to them so go ahead and get a paper towel or microfiber towel spritz it with some distilled water and wipe this bad boy down i actually go heavy on the distilled water because i also need to basically set the humidity of the chupper door. So I like to not necessarily soak them in distilled water, but give them a, a real damp uh, cleaning. Last thing you're gonna need, of course, are your Boveda or your humidifying packs. To each their own, choose whatever you like. These don't make a mess, they're easy. Toss them in, done. Now for my Tupper door, I use two Boveda 60 gram packs, and I put one on each side of my cigars on each tray. So it's a total of three trays per Tupperdor. 
That's six of these. And if you have extras, you can't go wrong with more. More is more, more is better. Now, I like to do a mixture between 72 and 69. That way I kind of get in that 70 degree range. That's me personally. I know some of you want to go lower, you can go 65. Um, I have experienced some of my cigars in my climate get a little too dry if I go 65. But I dry box anyway. So if I keep these at 70, 68, somewhere around there, and I'll uh, take a cigar out of here if I'm going to smoke it, throw it in my dry box for a few hours or overnight and enjoy it the next day. That's my personal setup. Now, the cool thing is with the Tupper door, you cannot fit, because I've tried, you can't fit four of these cedar trays in the Tupper door, but you can fit three plus a thin box of cigars. So for example, this is the Herrera Esteli by Drew Estate. And you can see this is just a, a thin, you know, thin box um, of cigars. And so I can keep something like this on the bottom and it's not a problem. Now, if you try and do something too long, like this Andalusian Bull set isn't going to fit in there. So that's too long, even though the thickness is fine. Same thing, Maria Lucia, this one's too tall. So it's a little too fat to put on the bottom underneath. So it just kind of depends on what box you want to throw in the bottom. If you can go for it, if not, no big deal. You could just do the cedar shelves. It's a pretty easy setup. It's foolproof. Once a month, I like to take everything out just kind of go through them, make sure there's no mold issues. There's no evidence of beetles. Never had a problem, but it's always nice to go through and just once a month check on it. And then also give it a little bit of air, just kind of move things around. I mean, these are waterproof, airtight, so it does benefit from getting a little bit of, of a breather from time to time on your cigars. Links will be down below. If this video is helpful, please hit that thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. I'd love to have them check out my channel as well. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos. I'm gonna do a lot of cigar content coming up. So I can't wait to see you all at the next video. Take care.